Hello everyone, it's Chris, aka Leotaka, and it is time for a thrift store rummage sale finds video, and I had a really good week between everything. Um, so I found a lot of stuff, some things I'm keeping, some things I might end up selling through my Etsy shop for some of the vintage stuff, since I figured out I can sell as long as it's 20 years old. Um, with that said, let's start with household. So I'm not planning to sell these, but they were a pretty good score. Apparently some broke one plate because there's 15, but they're these very pretty iris pattern, Corel by Corning, um, microwavable dishes. I assume since they're microwavable, they are dishwasher safe as well. They are not broiler or stovetop safe, but they are made in the USA and they're nine inches. So they're, they're considered luncheon plates, but, um, I'm getting really sick of all our old plateware being all chipped and cracked when I'm eating it. So I decided I could get a new side dishes and who knows being just slightly smaller, maybe I'll put less on the plate overall and lose a little weight that way. But just have one little sticker mark to get off of there still. Okay, I'm gonna set those gently on the floor. And then I found this at the Goodwill this week and I thought it very appropriate for uh, Pride Month with Cheer Bear on there painting and it's kind of cool because it says love, fun, luck, and cheer. I don't know why they didn't have a purple strip on there, but apparently Cheer Bear doesn't have purple in theirs, which makes no sense, but there's only four. Mm, yellow. I guess yellow wasn't going to show up very well, but uh, this is actually a Hallmark uh, one, American greeting cards. Sorry, not Hallmark. American greeting cards made in Japan through Cleveland, Ohio Corporation. So I'll probably try to sell that in my Etsy. And if I doesn't sell, I'm fine with it because I love it. So, and the same for the next mug uh, that I found. I think my mom was channeling through me from the other side because she was the mug lady. So I love this horse. He's on both sides. And then in between, you have, are you sure you want to be the next person to get on my nerves? And this is actually a learning tree ink through Bowler, Colorado, but made in China. Decorated and assembled. How do you assemble this in the U.S.? Um, <laughs> I think the mug was made in China and the decor was put on in the U.S., but he's cute. And then I've been like binge watching Crazy Lamp Lady's YouTube channel. And she'll mention a few things. And she says, you know, avoid melt glass when all possible. Unless it says Fire King on it, then you can take the risk. And this says Fire King on it, although it's probably very hard to get that to show up on your screen. And I got five of these, so someone broke one in. They had um another era one of these, like a whole nother pile, but they didn't have Fire King actually written on them. So I only got these. I might try to sell them, but for a quarter each, I uh, at worst can use them to uh, hold paint in my craft room, you know, so they're they're fairly nice though. And then back to mugs. These are not marked, but that's because back in the 70s, Otogere used stickers to mark theirs, and I've looked them up on Etsy and eBay, and it looks like they're very similar to Orgari, especially this one feels it, and they both have very similar coloring, similar sizes, but Otogere was a Japan, made in Japan artist, but he always does this um, cool animal mugs where, like, when you touch them, you really feel the artwork when you're touching them. So these ones are Canadian geese. And you even get, like, a little different scene on there. And then, similarly, these ones, I believe the bird is called a curlew. And this one even has a little lighthouse in the background. Which I liked. So, again, I probably will try to sell them. If they don't sell, I won't mind, because I like them. But, and then I got, like, a ton of toy stuff, but, um, 
So I picked these both up separately. One's Monster High and one's, I believe, a Barbie microphone stand. But I figured you can always use display pieces for action figures and dolls. So this is like an octopus legged stool. I figured I could always have someone sit in it. And this lovely microphone, I believe, is a Barbie microphone made for a 12 inch doll. And it's got that classic like 40s look I think um but I paid a quarter each for these and I think I was looking on eBay and someone was asking 10 bucks for one of these mind you this isn't in perfect shape it's a little rusty but I was like I think I won for a quarter I'm keeping those for display oh don't tap the glass I did get like a ton of stuffed animals and I'm even having trouble reaching all my toys so oh no 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 oh my star wars thing went running okay i'll use that opportunity to grab some of the other stuff that isn't toys all right so i picked up for a quarter at the thrift store a pillowcase because it's bright and colorful and it's going in on the dog's pillow because the dog anytime we leave him more than three hours tears one side of the pillowcase and then you flip the pillow for the next time you leave him in the kennel and if you stay more out more than three hours he rips the other side so for a quarter we can get salvage that now this isn't a toy but it is a figural and it is a carved whale where his fins actually act as the rest and he's fairly simply carved he's got got a lovely little mouth and some eyes and the real detail work went into the fins but he looks very lackluster on here when you see him in the sunlight which is where i saw him he glows with all different tones of brown so that's why i got him there's a few smudge marks on him from where the sticker was i'm going to try some wood polish on him and see if i can polish him up I may try to sell him because I already have like a whale figure made of like not wood but another substance in my office. But for a dollar, I thought I could rescue him because I couldn't carve wood for a dollar. Be hard to get a chunk of wood for a dollar this big. So I thought he was cute and adorable. And then I think my last non toy item, unless there's something hiding under this pile, is toilet structures is this awesome shirt which i paid up for a little i paid two dollars for but it doesn't look like anyone ever wore it do you see what that says do you see what it says it says wild stallions so it's a bill and ted excellent adventure shirt referencing their band and considering there's going to be a sequel to that movie it's probably pretty good timing not that I don't have another Bill and Ted shirt that I got in my loot crate, but that one doesn't fit very well. It fits more like a um, sleep shirt than like a shirt you want to wear out. All right, so I did get a huge pile of toys, lots of stuffed toys, and I picked up a grab bag of cars and stuff, which I'll go through last because I haven't even gone through it yet. So this is the store of my toys now ironically this had a goodwill sticker on it for two dollars i found it at silver creek thrift paid 50 cents which probably at least ten dollars a piece when you're at the lion king but since they were together one of them still has their tag on them i thought i'd pick them up they look all nice and tribal and awesome and i couldn't refuse when i saw them it was a good day so we got those two and then in the same thing at Silver Creek Thrift, I picked up this little Star Wars pork. And I picked him up because this is the one that doesn't have any inserts in him. So he's not going to talk. Oh, it looks like to, his wing is attached to his side there, apparently. And you can apparently undetach it if you want because it's just one little piece. So I might do that. He feels, he feels like he needs to flap his wings, darn it. Um, I mean, he's okay. I, I paid 50 cents or something like that. And uh, he's not feathery like the real bird, but 
it's much safer to have this nice silent one where it doesn't make noise. Yeah. Then, let's see. Yesterday, I found this kitty cat, which is going to go up on my display for the month, for the rest of the month, for the next oh, eight days or so. Uh, I finally found a cat all month. And this is a Purina cat. You can tell by the Purina symbol ribbon. And it actually ha still has this. I found one of these the other day. I think a black kitty and it didn't it didn't even have its tags on the back so and it kind of had like half of its color on so I wasn't gonna get it but this one still has its tag which is why I paid up for the dollar and it's part of the Purina pets for people program where um, when you buy the Purina pet food part of the money goes to um, getting pets to seniors you know so that they have a companion pet um, and you couldn't, and it, it is literally marked free with purchase, not for resale. But it's a cute little calico kitty, so he's going to go up on display for the rest of the month. Because, you know, I collect, if you don't know by now, advertising related, so Perina kind of advertising. And likewise, there's this cute little cow named Buttermilk from Bob Evans Farms. Uh... And it's actually by Chelsea Teddy Bear Company, and I paid a quarter for him, or her rather, and I paid a quarter for him. He is a Hallmark thing. I do not know his name. I did not look him up, but it's a bear dressed as a bat. I just couldn't help it. <laughs> I love bats, and Rita loves bears, so I felt like he had to come home to our house for a quarter. He's very soft, too. Um, uh, then it was... Shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Something slid off. Uh, the other car I bought earlier in the week isn't part of the bag. It slid off. All right, I'm not taking this out of the bag because it's sealed. Still sealed in the bag. And I'm going to try to sell this one before I break down and open it and put it in my collection. I will try to sell it because it's still sealed. I will see if I can, because it is an Avon Casey Kangaroo and I did find it sold on like one of the other marketplaces for 50. I think that's a little asking a bit much, but I might try to get a little bit of it since I paid a buck. Um, it's Soft Cuddly Casey Kangaroo by Avon. Not to be confused by Casey Kangaroo from Disney. Uh, Casey Kangaroo is just right for hugging tight. And when you're not wearing your Avon Jumpy Joey slipper socks, remember to tuck them inside the special Casey Kangaroo pouch. So you can't see it very well in here, but she's got a pouch in her PJs. So again, I'm going to leave it in the bag because I think that's really cool that it's still sealed in the bag. other toys. So this is a grab bag of toys. Now the only toy I took out and threw away right away was Robin Hood. One, I already had him, but two, when I took him out and went through the bag, he had like bugs trapped in his tail. So so I snagged, th snagged this bag for 50 cents just because I saw Eureka's face popping out. And this is in imperfect condition, so I'll probably just keep this for nostalgia purposes. I wish Magellan was in the bag with her, her dragon. But this was a cartoon on in the 90s. Uh, I think this is a Pizza Hut promotion, if I remember correctly, um, for Eureka's Castle. And this is Eureka, and her castle was filled with such awesome creatures, including Magellan the Dragon and Batley the Bat. So I had to grab her. She's technically supposed to be a puppet, but I don't think you can maneuver her at all. So I think she'll just be really nice on the shelf. Then... There's a She-Hulk she -Hulk car figure that I looked up on eBay and some people are going mad about, which I, I don't know why you'd spend that much. Oh, okay. Now I know why she made it to the bag. Her her bow is a little messed up, but otherwise, Miss Piggy, baby Miss Piggy, roller skating. I thought that was cute. Uh, pair of sunglasses. We'll see if Dad wants those. 
there's the creepy villain from Hunchback in here. And then I'll cut this tag off. It's just a happy Halloween football. The dog probably will steal that. And this is a Chuck E. Cheese ball, which the cat will probably steal. So those are those. And then I've got a couple more things to show you. The find of the day aside from the plates was this bag that says it contains all seven dwarfs and they wanted three bucks for them. It came with this old school Grimm Brothers edition of some dwarfs, but this is a, I believe the nineties versions made exclusively for Walt Disney because they have their names written. So we have Sneezy, Happy, Grumpy, Sleepy, Man After My Own Heart, Bashful, Doc with his glasses, and Dopey. Now, I picked up the whole bag. I may. I can't remember. I know I have a little figurine of, like, Doc playing the cello. And I might have, like, another version of Dopey. I'm not sure. But it was really nice that they all came together in these plushes. And so that I could buy them all in, for less than 50 cents a piece. I thought that was rather nice of them. And even came with, like, a little seven... Doris book, but it's not the Disney version. So you can see a different version of them. But I thought that was a score and a half. These I'll probably be keeping. And the last thing for me to go through is cars. Now this car I picked up at Vinny's. And come on, just open. I'll set them aside. I I usually pick up cars to put in my dad's Christmas Village and Halloween Village collection. You know, because it just makes the town more alive. <laughs> so, I picked up this cool little uh, Ford F-150. And not because it was a Ford, but because it's a, it's a Hershey's truck. So, for the... Well, two of those would have costed... The store earlier in the week, I got a whole bag of cookies for a dollar. I was like, I, I got to try it and see what's in here. All right. I have no idea what's in this bag other than I think I saw Goodyear Blimp, which is why I wanted it. All right. So this looks like it's a semi-truck cab made in China and not marked. It looks like it's from something like a generic Thomas the Train set or something. Oh, look, an action figure. Dude, is that Luke? I mean, no weapon. He doesn't have his lightsaber. Dude, that might be Luke. I'm not sure. It might be Luke Skywalker. I don't know. I'm trying to read the leg. Hasbro may tell. I don't know. Interesting little... I think it might be Luke Skywalker, though, but it was close. Um, a little stamp thing. Oh, look. Some sort of shark. So far, Luke's awesome. Uh, obviously a car trying to read a spirit. An esprit, esprit, maybe? An esprit Hot Wheels. And uh, from 2014. Cute little yellow car. I suppose I could put that shark near the seascape in the village. I have a couple things in there. Here's a, a bigger uh, Tonka van kind of thing. Oh my goodness. I think this is a John Deere accessory. Ooh, I wonder if the little tractor I have in the village is the right size to pull that combine. Okay, that's a good find for a Christmas village that has a farming community section. That's nice. I cannot. 
Oh, it's worth it. Oh, never mind. They sent me with it. Oh, that one doesn't seem to be marked John Deere anywhere. That's weird. Other things marked John Deere. Let's see, but his hitch is still on here. Ooh, that's cool. That was worth the dollar. I know, I'm having way too much fun going through toys. Well, look at this. A gliding club trailer. Let's see if I can find the part that goes with that. Uh, I don't think this is Hot Wheels. This is Kidco, made in Hong Kong. Looks like a generic racing car, Team Nissan. Not so excited about that yet. Here's another semi truck, but it's metal. Oh, matchbox. Uh, 1985, made in England. Kenworth Aerodyne. It's kind of neat. Again, I saved these for the end in case you didn't want to watch me go through all of them. <laughs> uh, fire department car. Looks like his lights came off the top. I have to see if I can find the lights in the bottom of the bag. Oh, the outside of a little bug. I feel like it's missing something, but it's not because I can read it's a midge toy. Rockford, Illinois. You can still read it, so it's just an empty little shell body, but that's cute. Oh, look! We got a little, uh, Lansing Bagnall. Little, uh, forklift. That's kind of cute. And my dad's from just outside of Lansing. He's from the St. John's area. Oh, look, a bigger... I did see this in here. Look at the cute little big motorcycle. It's much bigger than the toy. See, uh, standard car, matchbox car size. It is, dude, I think it's a Harley. It is a Harley Davidson. That's cool. Two seater. Oh, it's got the mace, oh, license plate on it. Ooh, that's pretty in the fire detail. Oh, I like that score. That's awesome. And we still got that many toys in it. I mean, not everything's going to be that fabulous. A little uh, Model T, I think. Uh, let's see. It's a Tomica. Oh, a little Datsun. Datsun. 1974, made in Japan. Like that one. Oh, wait, what's on the back of that? Oh, just some detailing. Oh, another little tractor. Oh, that one feels heavy. Uh, racing car. Oh, my eyes are going nuts. 1981. Oh, this is old as I am. Kenner. Cam Rammer. Or another yellow car. Someone like yellow cars. Another uh, little yellow race car. This is a Corvette Stingray by Playart. Cute little Corvette. That's what you do when you can't afford to buy cars. Oh my goodness, this is great. I have a cat guy I bought. Like a little figurine, like, you know, kind of about this size, maybe a little bigger. That'd be funny to put them near each other. That's awesome. It's plastic, but it's awesome. I'm having a little too much fun doing this, I think. Good satisfaction for a dollar. Some sort of machinery. With a lift. I feel like it's missing something. It is a Hot Wheels. 1979. This one says Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. Custom 56 Ford Truck. From 2008 or 2016, now it's like a little detailing on the bed there. Oh, a little bicycle that I have to put the okay, I have to put the little wheel back on the rubber, but that's cute. It's like a little Lego one. There's like a little Lego thing. Oh, there, I got the wheel back on. Okay, that's cool. 
I'm going to have to try to go see if any of my, the Lego men I have will actually ride that and put that in the village. That would look awesome. Dude, there's still more in here. Oh, another uh, trailer bed. This one's Matchbox. Articulated truck. Uh, this had some details on it, like a Jaguar. A little bit left on this side of the Jaguar, not much on that side. It is a Jaguar XJS. Hmm, maybe I'll just finish taking the Jaguar off the one side. It looks awful. That one, you can kind of tell it's a Jag. And this one obviously got played with a lot. Hot Wheels, 1984. And just a few more, including that blimp that got me to look at the bag to begin with. Alright, so I guess this is so you could hang it off the ceiling if you wanted. It's not the best Goodyear blimp. I'm not sure if someone just didn't make it Goodyear or what. It's not in the best shape, but my advertising loving self did that. This is a doozy. 31 doozy Hot Wheels. Look, I feel like something went wrong with those hoods, but I could be with those shields. I could be wrong. It just could be off proportion a little. And then finally, oh, oh, one of the fancy cars. It's a sh another Stingray, Corvette Stingray. This one's by Yafming. Made in Hong Kong, but it's doors open. Love that. So satisfying, opening and closing the doors. So, yeah, pretty good rummage sound thrift storing week. I mean, just all that I went through aside from the Hershey truck. This was, this I got at thrift store for 50 cents earlier in the week. And I got all these other toys for, car toys for a dollar. I'm like, good deal. So, uh, I think I spent like 20 bucks this week, which is, Amazing, because I think I spent six on the plates, a quarter to 50 cents on each mug, quarter on those. Yeah, I got a lot. So a little long of a video, but thanks for watching. <laughs>